Hey guys, welcome back. Farley B Outdoors, we're down here at the river today. We're gonna to try out the new Wazoo Viking Spark Whetstone Knife Sharpener, Fish Hook Sharpener. Let's see if we got a built-in fire starter on it. Stay tuned. All right guys, here we go. We've got the Wazoo Viking Spark Whetstone Knife Sharpener Fire Starter. This thing does all kinds of things, okay? So we're gonna get to it. We're gonna unbox this little uh, jewel and uh, get it down here in the river, get it wet, and maybe do a little uh, knife sharpening video here for you guys, okay? Uh, this is a necklace, so you can wear this around your neck. You can pick these up um, on Amazon, places like that, you know? Uh, hit it in the Google search engine, whatever, right? You can pick these up uh, online. They're very nice. They got a nice leather, um, leather necklace to go with them there that you can use as a strop too okay all right let's get to it here start off by opening it up here it looks like we've got some jute twine yep wazoo has sent us some jute twine in the package there we'll just lay that kind of to the side here We can pull this thing out of here. There we go. There's your box. Okay. All right. Nice little package. Almost looks like a topographical map uh, on the cardboard here. All right, let's pull this thing out. Uh-oh, looks like there may be some instructions. There's your little striker. There's your ferro rod. And then you got your leather uh, leather necklace strap here. You can use it as a strop once you get done sharpening. Uh, I believe this uh, is 600 to 800 grit. Let's see what it says. Yeah, 600 to 800 grit um, whetstone. Okay, if you're not familiar with whetstone or how they work, uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube and stuff that'll teach you how to use those. This little groove right here uh, is actually designed for uh, fishing hooks. Uh, so if you've got a fishing hook that's kind of dull or you need to put a little bit of an edge onto it, uh, you can uh, run your fishing hook down that uh, little fishing hook groove there to sharpen that hook up a little bit uh make it uh make it a little better on you okay and we have a rounded off edge on this one side um good for serrated knives uh sharpening those little serrated edges and stuff um that's what you're going to use this little rounded side for okay and then we have a beveled side that's good for taking uh edges and stuff off if you got a little rolled edge or something on your on your blade uh this little side here will uh, take that dude right off okay See our little ferro rod slides up and down there. Okay. All right, guys. Let's take this thing to the water and get it wet. All right, guys. If you unfold this uh, uh, this little piece of cardboard that the uh, uh, Wazoo uh, Viking Spark come in, it'll tell you a little bit about the stone, the scrape of the ferro rod, the class, how to use it. Uh, it's even got a little uh, QR uh, code there that you can scan and find more information out online. Uh, I really like this. This is pretty cool right here. A knifeless man is a lifeless man. Nordic proverb. Anyway, I'm, I'm still digging the uh, topographical look to the... Uh, cardboard here that's re that's really neat that's really neat how they've done that all right so <clears throat> we'll get to it we're going to take our viking spark down to the water's edge and get this thing wet for the first time maybe let it soak for a minute or two and then we're going to use our little uh, moroccan nib uh, knife and see if we can't uh, hone up the blade a little bit all right All right, guys, here we go. We've got our Viking Spark. 
we're just going to stick this down in the water here and uh, get this stone wet. We've got our Moroccan Niv Elders, Elder, Elders, whatever you call it. Elder, I believe, is what it's called. Uh, we've got it with us today. I use this little knife all over the place. Uh, handy little knife, very short uh, blade on it. It uh, <clears throat> really makes for a good uh, uh, carryable knife. I've got a little lanyard that I use uh, to carry it around my neck when I'm out and about doing stuff like this. And what we're going to do today is uh, the blade's fairly sharp on this anyway, but we're going to go ahead and just hone this on up a little bit with this new Viking spark, okay? All right. So we're just going to take that and move our little ceramic striker out of the way. Just kind of let that stone soak there for a minute. Probably doesn't have to really be uh, soaked or anything, but we're going to get it good and wet anyway, all right? Get a little bit of that muddy water that I just got on it off there. All right, cool. There we go. All right. So we're just going to take our blade here and You can do little circles like this with it if you choose to. Right there. Come over here on the other side. It'll take quite a few passes on this to uh, kind of get the edge you're looking for. It's got a noticeable edge on it now. All right. Our blade's got a nice little edge to it now. Okay, and if you have any like little road edges or anything on here, all you have to do, you can take this beveled in, run that kind of, kind of down like that, get them beveled edges, or use that beveled edge right there to get the road spots out of your blade. Okay, you can use the top of this thing. Right, we got our knife sharpener in there, or our, not our knife, our hook sharpener. That's our hook sharpener, is that little line you see. Okay, let's get this thing wet again. Like I said, you can do these little circles. This is a really neat method right here of honing that blade up. You know what I mean? This won't get, uh, this probably ain't the best method of sharpening your knife, but in the field when you're out and about, uh, this is a really handy thing to have. Wear this around your neck. And you'll always have a sharp blade when you're out using your equipment, taking care of your equipment and stuff, right? All right. There you guys go. Alright guys, one little thing I'm going to mention, I forgot to mention here, uh, about the Viking Spark from Wazoo, okay, is this very neat little uh, clasp that they have to secure this necklace around your neck. Now you're supposed to be able to um, adjust the length of this, I don't know exactly how, 
So you might want to get on the QR code that was included in the box or get on Wazoo's website. I'm sure there's a video on YouTube or something of somebody showing how uh, you can um, uh, change the size of this necklace. Uh, but let's show you this little clasp here. Wazoo has their name printed on it. Okay, it's got a little button here. Takes quite a bit of pressure to push that button down. That's what you got. Okay? That's what you got. And it's got a very noticeable click. Click. Hear it? Click, click. There it is. Clicked right into place. Okay? If I put it on right, we're going to put it on backwards. All right, let's see here. Click. There it is. All right, guys. There's the Viking Spark from Wazoo. Check them out. And also, don't forget, hit that like button, share button. You know, do the thing. Do the thing. Anyway, till next time, hope you guys enjoyed it. Far be outdoors. Woo! Sneaky snake. He's about four foot long. That's He's a big one. Go up to do it. How about no? <laughs> Watch him go, guys. He's on the move again. Oh, his tongue. Well, look how long he is. But now, them other ones we've seen earlier were copperheads. Yeah, but look at this. Oh, there is a copperhead right there. See? Where? Oh god! Yeah. Hey, sneaky little snake. Jack, what the heck was this? It's a sneaky little oh. snake. I think this rock has got some bugs. Alright guys, back at the house. Totally forgot to show you guys the fire portion of the Wazoo Viking Spark whetstone pendant necklace thing in my bobber anyway i'm going to show you guys we're going to use this little ferrisium rod piece that's up here this slides up and down the necklace okay we're going to use that and we're going to use this little piece on the back okay to start us a fire let me show you guys how it's done There we go. Just like that. That's how we're going to use it. Just like that. That stuff burn up quick. Alright, until next time, Farley Be Outdoors.